Now that we've gone over on writing our own functions, it's very important we understand how Python deals with variable names we assign. What exactly happens when you assign a variable name? And when you create this variable name, uh, there is something uh, you assign a value with it. Where does it get stored? And the place where it gets stored is called a namespace. Now, variable names also have what we call a scope. Now, the scope determines the visibility of that variable name and makes it available in other parts of your code. So, let's say you wrote a function, uh, wrote, uh, declared a variable, for example, and that variable is um, somewhere inside a function. Then, you are writing another function. You cannot, uh, you know, get access to a function, a variable that is within a function. So, that's out of scope for that function. Right, so I'll explain to you what I'm talking about, and then we'll come back and uh, sort of analyze our situation in terms of where we are in understanding scope, uh, in, in nested scope, and so on. So let's hop on to uh, my Jupyter notebook here. Great. Now I'm going to create a simple variable here. So uh, everything we are going to do about scope will be mostly understanding where we can call upon certain objects. Uh, whether within outside or inside of our functions. And it's very important to understand because, uh, you know, you don't run into trouble and your code will execute if you understand this better. So I'm going to just say um, a function and that will um, it just print something and it takes uh, no argument and it just says x is equal to 50 and return x. Notice I have two variables. Here I have x is equal to 25 outside of my function, and here I have x is equal to 50 inside of my function, right? So it's like uh, this guy is publicly accessible and this guy is private. So let's say this is a coffee machine in, in a, a, a mall or a theater, um, and everyone can go uh, push the button and get their coffee, and this is something inside your house, and only you prefer to use it. So let's, and I can't make a better example than that. So this is outside the house and this is inside the house, that sort of a thing. And I'm going to print, write a print and say x, let's see what this does. And I will print just prints, okay? And let's see what this one does. So great. So this is printing 25 and this is printing 50. Right? I. What do you imagine? Uh, what did you imagine when I wrote it? Right? So what what happens if I just uh, call this again? What do you think will be the output? You know, would it think? Oh, I, I'm referring. Am I referring to the x here, or am I referring to the x here? You can you can guess this is going to be 25. Anything outside of this is here and anything inside of this is here. And that's how Python sees it. So this is out of scope or in, in, in scope. So I'm going to just print this again, just to be clear. And, and that prints 50. This is interesting, but how does Python know which x are we referring to? All right, I understand this, but how does Python know? Python uses where we call scope. This is where the idea of scope comes in. Python has a set of rules it follows to decide what variables, uh, such as x in our case, that we are referencing in our code. Let's just break this down a bit more and see how these rules work. Now, this idea of scope in our code is very important to understand in our order to properly assign a and call variable names. Now, in simple terms, idea of our scope can be described by Let's say, I think we can describe it in three general rules. We can sum it up that one uh, is where we have or we name assignments that uh, will create or change local names by default. So this is like, you know, whatever I name the assignments by default, it will either create or change local names. And then there are name references, like uh, name references search for scopes. So it, there are four type of uh, reference search Python does. This is a second rule. Every time you write a variable, Python looks for scope. Is it a local scope? 
Um, is it enclosing functions? Like this particular variable is enclosed in a function, so it's called enclosing function scope. Is it a global function? Like this is uh, declared uh, at the top, that means it's available throughout the program, it's called global, or are we referring to anything built in? So that's the second rule. And then names declared in global and non-local statements uh, map assign names to enclosing module and function scopes. So let's see what we're talking about. There, there's something called as um, uh, LEGB rule. So I'm coming to come that is that there is something called as local, for example, uh, that are names assigned uh, any way within a function is local. So this particular variable is local to this function. Correct? And this is not declared global in this function. Correct? And then enclosing function locals. So name inside the local scope or any enclosing function from inner to outer. So this could be a function within a function and it could be enclosed to be used only within that function or like a def uh, or a lambda. And then there is a global uh, which is also called a module which are top level at the top of your file you declare global and you can always call upon this within a function. Then there is built in functions like open range and syntax error and others which are Python specific. So this is uh, what we are talking about. Let's look at what is a local uh, variable scope. So I'm going to create a function where I will say x is local. Right? This is a, an example of a local function. The x is only available to this particular lamp variable. Only when you call this, you can use it. You cannot use this anywhere else. Let's look at an example where we're enclosing function locals. So this occurs when we are working on a function inside a function. So it's a function within a function. So let me declare a global variable and say this is a global name available every available to every function all right and now i'm going to create a function called say hello and then i will write a enclosing function variable with the same name say james bond right and then i have another function within that function greeting and in, oops, I missed the, uh, oh, okay. And then I have another, let's say this, I, I want to use the name and I will say this like this, hello plus name. And I will call this in my program. I'm going to call the greeting. Oh man, okay, something's wrong with my keyboard, it's acting funny. Okay, and then I will at the end call hello. So notice I'm calling this within my function, I'm calling this outside. And the behavior, I don't know what's gonna be, I'm really nervous what's gonna happen. And it gave me an error. It says hello is not defined because it's say hello. Okay, great, so this did not do anything. Um, what is it supposed to be doing because this is again indentation it should be outside of this right it should be somewhere here and i'm going to try this it says hello okay let's give it a sp some space here and i'm going to run this again it says hello to james bond so that's how uh, this works this is a function within a function it's called enclosed enclosing value notice that this has no reference whatsoever because we are making use of this particular f uh, variable and not this, right? What happens if I just say print name? This is calling the function, the variable outside of my function. So that's how it works. Luckily, I, there is a way to know uh, what we call uh, in Jupyter uh, or built-in functions. For example, I, I type this and it tells me this is a function, this is an inbuilt function, and you cannot override this. Great, so that's how uh, functions uh, work and uh, scope uh, works. 
Okay, let's look at another example. So when you declare variables, uh, especially uh, when we are talking about local variables inside a function definition, they are not related in any way to other variables with the same names used outside the function. In our case, this is a local function. It has no reference. It's got nothing to do with this variable outside of the function. Now all variables have the scope of the block they are declared in starting from the point of definition of the name. Let me show you another example. So this time uh, I'm going to declare a, a global variable 50 and I will create a function uh, a, a, um, and I will call it function and let's say it is supposed to print x is something like this x is and print out x and I will define the value of x is equal to 2 and then say print changed local x to x then I'll say function I'll call that function and then I'll say print x is still x there you go. So what is happening here? The first time that we print the value of the name x with the first line in the function body, Python uses the value of the parameter declared in the main block. So it's actually referring uh, to, well, this is the first time, you know, this is how it goes. So until this point of time, this function, until this point of time, this function does not know about this variable, right? And Python uses the value of that parameter declared in the main block instead. It takes it from the global variable. And then we assign the value of x is equal to 2. The name x is local to our function. So when we change the value here, it actually printing this x to this. We are not changing the value by typing change local. We are just printing x. I can take this off completely and it will still print 2. And that is what it is printing. And after that, when we call upon, right, when we call the function, um, something interesting happens here. We display the value of x as defined in the main block, thereby confirming that it's actually unaffected by local assignment and it still remains, it holds its value of 50. And that's what it does. So now, if you want to assign a value to a name defined at the top of the program, then you're declaring a global variable. You have to tell Python that the name is not local, but it is global. So we do this by using a global statement. Uh, I will show it to you uh, in an example. It's called global statement. And it is not possible to assign a, any value to a variable defined outside the function without that global statement. And we can use these values such as variables defined outside the function. However, uh, this is not encouraged, so we should avoid uh, doing things like um, defining outside of the function for a, a variable that you're going to use it inside the function it's because it becomes really uh, confusing to the reader of the program as to where the variable's definition is. So using the global statement makes it very clear that variable is defined in the outermost block. So this is how you can define it. So I'll take the same example. X is equal to 50. Okay. Now what if I have to declare a variable which is global but I will declare it within a function, inside of the function. So that is done, like I said, using the global statement. I just type global x. Now, I, whatever I do now, it will not change this function. Let's find out what happens rather than me telling it is now uh, has the values of, of global x. Okay. And now it says print because of global x is, let's print the value of that. And then I'm going to change the value here. Let's say I'm going to change it x is equal to 2. Print, I ran function changed global x to this value. Now is when it changes because you've actually changed it. Now let's see what happens if I print. I'm going to say 
before calling function x is and I will call function and then print value of x out outside of function is let's say some co codes here like this that makes it nice and easy to read when the output is printed right x name x is parameter and global so that's what uh, it's giving me a return so what is it trying to tell me uh, on line 4 1 2 3 and line 4 uh, it's just printing the value right so I have uh, not actually printed anything there hmm. okay let's let's see how do we troubleshoot this and I'm going to do this and it says still line 4 1 2 3 4 okay this is global X and I'm defining X parameter is global so it says what it's telling me you know what I should take this off you see what I did and it's not any problem here now this should just execute fine so it just takes a while and you can make any mistake and it's completely okay um, so before uh, calling function x is 50 at this stage um, like you can see and then we assign value to x inside the function that change is reflected when we use the value of x in the main func main block now you can uh, specify more than one global variable using the global statement inside of a function or outside of a function or anywhere you want and Python will always be aware of the scope as long as we keep a scope in mind uh, we should not have no trouble declaring variables great now you should have a, a solid understanding of scope um, you may have already intuitively felt right about scope which is great and you might have thought yeah that makes sense yeah it's inside of the function how the heck can I call it outside and oh, it's outside of the function I should be able to call it inside and but how do I declare my own variable inside and so on so I'm, I'm sure one last thing I just want to say that is that when you can use globals and locals uh, uh, along with global you can also use local to check what are your current uh, global and local variables so just run the uh, global uh, function and just say global and open and close bracket uh, see what you get and locals uh, open and close bracket see what you get another thing to keep in mind is that every time uh, everything in Python is an object and I can assign variables to function just like I can with numbers so we'll go over this again when we talk about decorators and uh, do practice and see you in the next session